guys, how's it going? I uh, wanted to give my thoughts. I know E3 is coming up, and I'm pretty excited for Square Enix. I want to show some games there. I was going through their wiki page uh, here a little bit ago, and was kind of like looking and seeing what all they had in the line, and what all they had actually made previously, just to kind of get maybe an idea of what they could possibly be announcing at E3 this year. But I wanted to, I kind of saw some things that uh, are wishful thinking that I hope that they announce and I would like to see. And of course, some no-brainer stuff like Final Fantasy VII remake title or a date for part two, possibly. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. I got a couple um, picked out here that I thought would be, uh, that really like, got my eye. So... Let's get into it. Uh, first, of course, uh, I played this a lot as a kid. We got Brave Fencer Musashi. I know they made a second one a couple years ago, but I, I, I would I would love to see this game make a comeback at some point. You know, it was a lot of fun. Watched the Buddy Mine play it a lot. Really enjoyed it. Would love to see just an HD remaster of it. Just re-release it, you know, just kind of spice up the graphics or whatever a little bit <clears throat> excuse me that would be i'd love to see that they can maybe announce that just something small you know nothing too big uh then of course of course dragon quest 12 i imagine they would possibly say something either at e3 or at the next uh next event after this i don't know if they have anything planned for um like a Square Enix event or a PlayStation event or whatever, but I hope we get some more news or more information on Dragon Quest um, 12. Maybe a title, a screenshot, anything. Just some more, because with it being adult themed, or more, I guess, M rated, I should say, not adult themed, but it's made, it's made for more adults. So it's going to be more hardcore, uh, bloody, and gritty and stuff like that. I'm excited. I can't wait to see more on this. So I hope we get some more on this uh, ASAP. Another HD remaster I'd like to see is either Final Fantasy 4 or 6. I think those two are overdue. Although, I think 6 would be best done in a whole, like, given the Final Fantasy 7 remake treatment. Like, full-on redo the game and make it, like, upscale characters, voice acting... Just go ham with, with, with that. I just recently finished or started playing halfway through 4. That's why I kind of picked that one. But either 4 or 6. I've never played 6 either. But I, I could definitely see them doing something with 6. Giving it the full the full remake treatment. That would be that would be great. I'd love to see that. Some, some more stuff. But of course I want them to focus fully on 7 Remake. And pump it out. Finish it. Get it done. And once it's done, then we'll move on to the next. So, just... But maybe announce that they're working on it. They got, like, a small team starting it or something. It just depends on how far along they are with, with 7 Remake. And uh, if they have time, really, you know. But, of course. And, of course, another one. Maybe not the full Remake treatment. Although, it'd be great. But HD Remaster... Pretty graphics, kind of like what they're doing, I think, with Dragon Quest 3? They're, I forget, one of the new Dragon Quests they just announced, just getting a updated graphics, smooth, stuff like that. This would be great. I would love to see this get spruced up and pretty and just re-released. Oh, one of my favorite games growing up was this game. I love it. I'd love to see it get just some love. Show it some love. Remake it, remaster it, whatever you got to do. Make it pretty again. And just put it on PS5, PS4, Xbox. Get it out there. We want, I would love to see it. I know it's on Steam right now, but it's it's like only on Steam. I don't think you can get it on a console. And if you can, that's a shame on me for not knowing. But, oh, God, I'd love to see this get some, just, just something, something. You get it, like just HD treatment. Nothing crazy, just... Oh. That is wishful thinking here. But they've been really quiet on this game for a long time. 
I'd love to see something with it though. I'd lose my mind if they did something, announce something with uh, Chrono Trigger. That would be amazing. I know they just had Bravely, Bravely Default 2 uh, drop for the Switch last month or two months ago or something? Recently. So, of course, they're not going to announce a number three, but maybe some DLC or an expansion or, or whatever the case may be. But I think it did pretty well. Uh, I've seen some people play it on stream a lot. I watched a little bit of playthrough with Unaleska on um, on Twitch. Really, really enjoyed it. Thought it was really neat. I like the the style of combat and stuff for it. So maybe I'd like to see something done with this. You know, just maybe a DLC announcement or whatever. Nothing crazy, of course. This game, uh, <laughs> there's no way we don't have more info on this. There's no way. So. I would be so surprised if they didn't announce, if they didn't just show some more of this game. More gameplay, maybe more locations, some more characters. Of course, nothing too spoilery, but we know how that goes. Square Enix loves their, their spoilery trailers. Maybe some more summons. Nothing, I don't know, nothing crazy, but... I don't know, they, they, they gotta show some more stuff. Something has to be shown at E3 with this. Has to. And, and, and also Forspoken. This is Forspoken. Uh, this game looks pretty cool. There's not much been shown on it re right now. Uh, they just, I think last time it was shown at an event, it was actually given a name. Because it was like Project Agatha, or, yeah, Agatha? It was Project something. But it finally got a name. Looks good. She like been like the Earth or something. I need to go back and watch the trailer. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I... Maybe we'll see some more stuff on this. A proper trailer with some story stuff. What's going on in the world. So, that'd be neat. This one I just came across when I was going through the uh, list of Square Enix games was Babylon's Fall. I know nothing of this. I don't even think it's out yet. Let's check here real quick. Where was it at? Here. Uh, Windows and PS4. And it's still to be announced. And it's coming out by Platinum Games. No idea what this is even about. Uh, so, I mean, it, when you click on the title, it just sends you to Platinum Games. So there's, I don't think there's even anything about it. But maybe we'll finally get something on it at E3 recent, uh, this weekend. Or not this weekend, good lord. In a few weeks, whenever E3 happens. Never heard of it. So we'll see. Looks like a dungeon. Um, it would be great to see a game like uh, Champions Return to Arms or Champions of Norath. Where you play as like four players, you got a mage. A uh, black mage, a white mage, a tank, and then a, a DPS style, like, over the shoulder, or over the, over the, not over the, shoulder, over the top, um, Diablo style game. The Champions games comes to mind. I played those games a lot as a kid, way more than Diablo, that's why I thought of Champions, but something like that. That's what, that'd be cool. I see the four characters there, so that's kind of what hit my, my thoughts. Another game that I never heard of before was called Project Triangle Strategy. <clears throat> this is a screenshot from the demo they released or whatever something um but it looks a lot like um uh final fantasy tactic so it's called, it has like the art style of the classic classic games or um octopath traveler style um art but it, it had like little squares and stuff i saw a little trailer for it um and it was like, it looked just like tactic, just like, that's so like, unless this is, this is just a project triangle strategy. So this, it's not the official name for it yet. Maybe they'll show some more stuff on it. Mobile game, probably, because they, I know they love their mobile games. And I think that, I think that's where they get most of their revenue from is from mobile games. So that's just kind of what I thought. Never heard of it before. Didn't even know it was even a thing. So I'm sure we'll get some more stuff on this, possibly. Of course, the last one here uh, would be some more information on Kingdom Hearts 4 or another DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I think the last thing that came out for Kingdom Hearts was the Remind uh, DLC. And I think just this past couple 
past weekend or, or last week or something, they just wrapped up one of the storylines for uh, Union Cross. So maybe some more stuff on on Kingdom Hearts. Definitely would like to see some more Kingdom Hearts. I need, actually need to go play Remod. I have not played it yet. I know people, people, I don't know, people in their opinions and stuff. I loved it. thought it was great. That's me. I have my opinions. If people don't like it, typically you can assume that I do like it and I love it because that's just, I don't know, I just play games at face value. I don't dig too deep into it or think too much on it. I just play it. And of course, I love Kingdom Hearts, Square Enix, and Disney, you know. I love me some Disney and I love me some Final Fantasy. So I don't see they could do no wrong here for me. Just, I want more and I want to know what the heck is going on with Sora and Yuzora and Riku. Where the heck is Sora? That's, I don't know, that's all. And then, of course, uh, we're going to see, we have to see something on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. Definitely want to see a trailer, a title, a date, something for Remake Part 2. Uh, I would love to have a, a name, at least a name. Just a screenshot. This is the title of the kid name, and then, like, in the background, show... Uh, the party walking to calm and just have like remake or Final Fantasy 7 whatever the night insert title here I don't know something at least that and because uh, uh, let me see today is June 1st so we have nine days until integrate drops I'm, I'm expecting and hoping to see something added to integrate or, or Yuffie's intermission uh, episode when we beat it do something, some kind of secret trailer, secret DLC, or not DLC, but secret ending, something, teasing the, the, the gang, walking to calm Yuffie, watching them, or following them, distraught, defeated because of Sonon being gone, dead probably, something, he's definitely not making it out of that, there's no way, but just, a teaser showing what's to come you know maybe even showing some more of the zack sequence from the end of remake showing hit zack maybe going into midgar and what's going on with that whole thing just like just a little tease not not too much of course you don't spoil it all in the little dlc but just teeing up for what's to come and so yeah those are my my hopes and my my dreams we will go to this one because this is what I want the most, at least an HD remaster of this game right here. So let me know what you guys would like to see at E3 for Square Enix or, or anybody, you know, Ubisoft, Microsoft, um, whoever's there. What are you hoping to see? What would you like to see? What do you not want to see? And let, them let me know down below. And as always, like and subscribe if you're new here. I know I got a couple people watching every every now and then i'm getting started here um but don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace